daylight saving sneaks up on us, you know? Oh, yeah. Also OBS. Okay. Let's okay. Again. Testing. Can it. everyone hear us? Can anyone hear us? Ah, now I hear. There it is. Sorry. I was like, maybe we need to wait for the delay for it to catch up with our audio. But no. I think we're right. We have Windows. confirmation and we're good to go. Heck yeah. yeah. Hey. Windows Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. It is officially episode five of season 15. Thank you so much for being here with us. We are so happy to have you all. Oof. We are writing out these uh, episodes fast and loose and, well, maybe not fast and loose, but y'all are doing some wild stuff along the way. Uh, let's go around and introduce everyone who's here with us this week. Um, unfortunately, Latia, uh, due to some travel like updates, gosh, airlines are terrible. They <laughs> couldn't make it this week, uh, but they will be back with us next week. And so send them all the good luck. And I know they're supporting us wherever they are uh, flying in the sky. And then <laughs> up next, uh, why don't we start off our introductions with Tanya? Oh, hi. I'm Tanya Slisa Storio. Both Slisa and I are she, her. And I'm your kind of discombobulated, DST affected Ranger Paladin with a whole lot of Barbarian this week. Mm -hmm. And you're crushing it. You're doing a great job. Thank you for stepping in as a producer real fast. Uh, coming up, we've got Brian. What? Oh, <laughs> you want to do your intro? Little, little introduction? Oh, folks know who you are? I'm sorry. I still <laughs> thought it was like noon. It, it's one now, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I mean, okay, technically no, it's, it's noon for me. And that's DST terrible because I thought it was 11. Mess with me. I'm like, I'm not bad, but no. Hi, I'm Brian. I play Virgil. You're awesome. Our source, Storm Source for uh, Virgil's pronouns are he, him, mine are he, they. The commitments to that bit was so strong. I was like, was I not clear that we were doing intro introductions? I, I know today's been a day. So thank you. Thank you for that, for that moment. Really incredible. Uh, up next, we have Yadio. Hi, everybody. I'm Okenyo. Okay, I'm DM Jazzy Hands, and I play Kent, our tiefling phantom rogue. Our, both of our pronouns are he, him. Heck yeah. Thank you to Raiders who are just coming in. We appreciate y'all being here. And up next, we've got Sharif. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Sharif, and I'll be playing Shaka, uh, tiefling celestial warlock. Uh, Shaka is he, him. I'm also he, him as well. Heck yeah. And then that just leaves me. I am Masood Huck. Usually I play Gosric Nomrad, uh, your favorite businessman, socialist, druid, construct. Uh, and this season, though, I've been using more than just the he, him pronoun because I've been playing an assortment of NPCs whose pronouns will vary as you the cast encounters them. But uh, let's first give thanks to the folks who make us possible to run this show. And to that, I want to throw it to the one and only Sharif for our ad reads. Hey, let's give some shout outs like we do every week. Uh, let's start out with D and D Beyond. So we have all character sheets online. We can look up spells, manage encounters, roll dice, all that good stuff. Um, check them out at dndbeyond.com. Um, and I don't, I believe we do not have a code this week, um, but normally we do. Um, we, do. we have a code. Oh, well, oh, we do. Okay. Yes. So, so, so we do. Yes. Sorry, I got messed up. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you are in the live chat, if if you're listening live and if you're listening to the recording, we stream live Sundays um, at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, you can translate that into your time zone of choice. Um, if you're in the chat, uh, you can uh, look for the code word and then type that in with the exclamation point in front of it, and you'll be entered in a raffle. Uh, must be present to win. And uh, once you verify that you're here, uh, we will give you, well, I should, I should say, d, &D Beyond will uh, give you some wonderful uh, sourcebook material uh, from their collection. Um, so make sure to check them out at d, &D Beyond and stay uh, uh, tuned in live for a chance at that content. Um, also, if you want to roll some physical dice, uh, check out Die Hard Dice um, at dieharddice.com. Use the code RIVALS for 10% off of your purchase there. Um, if you want to adorn your room with some dope, geeky stuff, some mugs, some hats, some shirts, some masks, all kind of great stuff, check out Stormcrow, shop.stormcrow.com. Use the code RIVALS for 15% off of that purchase. Um, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones, crew.bluemic.com slash Rivals. Any purchases there, we get credit for that. Um, so make sure to check them out over there at Blue. And also, if you want to take the rivals on your own adventures, make sure to check out Idol Champions by Codename Entertainment. I think I surprised you with that. 
<laughs> and he was like, where is this going? Um, <laughs> where am I going to have to go? What am I? What? It's like the, it's <laughs> the smoothest transition. It was really good. <laughs> yeah, sorry. If if uh, you want to take us on your own adventure, like physically take us on your own adventure, uh, go to Idol Champions. Um, um, it is a dope idol video game uh, where all of the characters that you see that we are playing are in the game as well as uh, Fen Disco Pest and some other dope familiars as well. Um, as well as a, as as Ben Aris, I mean, which I did update on the document, but I forgot. Um, and 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 um, also also some uh, other characters from other shows that we are allied with, like Black Dice Society and other shows as well. Um, make sure to take advantage of those stacking rivals multipliers if you have more than one of us on your on your uh, squad. And if, if you type in exclamation point code. You can get this week's free Electrum chest to help you get some gear um, in game. Um, and we're also our newest uh, supporter is Voice Mod, um, and I believe we have a friend that can help us uh, with our Voice Mod reader. Well, hello. I'm here from Voice Mod, the jolly voice mod giant who is here to tell you that you should go to voicemod.net in order to try and sound like me. Incredible. When you're there, you can try out the free version of voice mod. I might be around, but the voices change on a regular basis that I don't really know. Uh, but if you get the pro license and use code RIVALS at checkout, you can get 5% off your fee to sound like me. In VoiceMob.net. Please don't you, sue us, Green Giant. Thank you. Can you just give me a, a quick uh, Autobots rollout? <laughs> just, I just, I just Autobots see. rollout. See, that's great. That's That's wonderful. Jolly Optimus. Yeah. Yes. Jolly Optimus. I don't know. I I feel like being, you know, being uh, a, a significant amount of people being like connected to the Chicago area. Yeah. I mean, Transformers are for destroy Chicago, guys. They, they mean, destroyed it. They, I, which, they which destroyed movie? it. I'll be honest, I fell off at a certain point. And oh, I the, movies, the movies don't count. They're not canon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I, wow. I was trying try to get Michael Bay some props, but I did not. Dude, never. He gets no flowers. <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? We're, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thanks, Sheree, for those wonderful, wonderful ad reads. And thank you, honey, for a tangent that I put us on. And I apologize for that. But <laughs> we're, we've got to talk about what happened previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. And we can't do that without our whoosh captain. Unfortunately, our whoosh captain isn't here. What are we going to do? So I guess what that's are we the end of the do? show. Bye. I guess it's the end of the show. No. <sighs> we have an interim whoosh captain. And that <sighs> one, the one and only. Let's throw it back to Sharif. Thank you, interim yeah, whoosh captain. I know. I know. This is an internship uh, that I'm doing right now. It's like a, like a five-minute internship, but it's all good. Um, I know Latia is good with the hats. I was looking around quickly to see what I can do for a hat. And I have this, like, turtle shell, which oh, is kind of big. Up. It's oh my incredible. god it's perfect uh, it's yeah so i'm gonna like try to get yeah, the straps yeah. on me yeah <laughs> wait, wait, can you on your chin? like it's there of, we go. Oh, it disappeared it's great and of course <laughs> it's like no nah, it's gone now yeah it's exactly now. It, it, it 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 is being filtered out but you know it's there it's right you right. know yep. you know so let's hope it doesn't fall off while i do this uh previously on rivals of water deep whoosh, whoosh. And look at them go in the chat. Hey, Wonderful. There it is. Hey. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for those. It's the loose races. It's like off to the races. Loose oh, races. Uh, so previously on Rivals of Waterdeep, what Ooh, happened, we y'all? did that. Uh, so we <laughs> we went um, to Jolt. <laughs> uh -huh. There it is. It's back now. Where did last week start? Is actually probably the better. Question, we started. But I we never started remember. in. We started in flight. I was gonna say in. Oh yeah. Rest, okay. But I actually don't know what that phrase means, so don't come for me. I we think, started I like. We would have had to in start in a fight for that. Like yeah, yeah maybe. Um. Actually. So we were on rival, and we were headed towards Chult, towards like the feeling, like we'd basically been following kind of all of the clues together. Duo felt pulled in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, we got information from Rival and Walter that ships had been coming in and going 
two, like basically they've been coming in and going out that way. And when we originally got there at the end of the previous episode, there was a ship like that was out and headed away. So we were kind of following in that direction, going to Chult. And, um, and there was a little contention because, you know, Walter had sort of um, put a label on his chair <laughs> and Dahani right. did not agree with this right. self-imposed title. So there was a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. And we also had a lovely, um, we had a conversation between uh, Solis and Kent to essentially let Solis kind of have a moment of, you know, I want, I want someone I trust to stop me from doing the thing that I know I shouldn't do. And it was beautiful. Watch it again because it was gorgeous. <laughs> and, um, and as we kind of got in closer, we hit, um, we hit a, a, a wall of weather. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. all of a sudden it's rain. Rain, just like a, line yeah like a wall of crossed. rain yeah rain began which was fine it's chult it rains that's not i mean it was a little I, specific I, I, but i think i, I think dahani confirmed that that the honey walter confirmed that that's not normal it, it oh that it's not of, the rainy season yeah. that's right and it, yeah. it, not that yeah. it doesn't it rain sort of off season but this was a lot and it was sort yeah. of surrounding the entire yeah, the entire, the entire, entire island of chult. Right. like <laughs> the whole thing that's fine yeah. um big so storm. you know not normal and um you know rival was honestly rival is like that uber driver that complains about traffic the entire time you're in the car but you can't like (laughs) you're just like you're trying to pretend that you're on your phone like oh mm, it's bad Mm, Mm, okay mm, (laughs) um mm. so yeah rival was letting us know that um they were being pelted by rain and we backed up to kind of check the whole thing Mm -hmm. and then we looked for a safe landing point and it was wonderful because again watch it again because it was really cool um shaka worked with duo and a map of chult that dahani of course had on her to turn duos like feelings into like a place on the map and we were looking for a safe place to land and it was like boom right there and i cannot remember it was near a fire or a mountain near the peaks it it was the name yeah but thank you wasn't there a lake as well there's there, a lake near just, I don't remember the lake's name. It was it's, northeast of the. Uh, the lake is northeast of the landing, which um, okay. There you okay. go. And then Kirsabal, which is where uh, Dahani's from, is a little ways right. north. That's like a little ways right next to the lake ish. Yeah. yeah. Um, Got. So that was like our safe landing point. It was very cool. Like you know, Shaka's like kind of feeling the energy from Duo and doing kind of like a thing over the map. And then if you watch the after show, uh, Sharif actually explains how to mm-hmm. turn. 3D coordinates into 2D coordinates. So again, Patreon supporters, you got some math. Right. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're welcome. And um, and yeah, we we essentially were like, okay, let's put it down there. And we we went through the water wall again. Rivals like, wow, this weather it's pelting all of my sensors. I don't I don't know how you expect me to. Fl-. You know, it's just it's kvetching at that point. It was really just getting into kvetching at that point. Um, and as we're going in, we got past the completely circular wall of rain to snow? Yeah, that it, yeah. as if it wasn't weird <laughs> enough, suddenly right? it was snowing in Chult, which I'm pretty sure is not a seasonal event. Especially because we were looking around and we were like, we should ne- be near mountains that are on fire. And <laughs> right. it's snowing. <laughs> snowing. And as we're as we're processing this, and again, we're going to local experts, to Honey and Walter, to kind of process and confirm this. <laughs> We also then, um, thankfully, we were kind of keeping an eye on stuff. And, you know, Rival complaining about the flying did help um, that Virgil and Dahani saw that we had a, a huge boulder flying at us. Yes. I'm sure it's fine. We yeah. avoided it. We yeah. avoided, yeah. We avoided 20 it. We did and not avoided believe we avoided it. it. Uh, was the most annoying role for me. It was that. <laughs> I really, uh, I really. Aww. But that's Last... always what happens as a DM. There's yeah. a role where you're like, I shouldn't let them do this because it's only going to matter if they get a nat twenty. But if yeah. they get a nat twenty, it's going to fuck some shit up. And right. we always, as DMs, we always let them do it anyway. And it's always a nat twenty. <laughs> well, I was like, it's going to be a cool moment where we're constantly going to be checking whether or not Virgil has an interaction <laughs> with Dragonfly. Like, are they in sync? Turns out they're perfectly in sync. Yeah, yeah, they yep. they step right back into it. Yep. Immediately crush Funk. it. It's good for the narrative. Whatever. That's <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so we avoided the these DM. boulders <laughs> and <laughs> saw where they were coming from. Look, I'm Ooh. moving on. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got it. I was about to make a very unsavory reference. I know. I could feel it in okay, my soul. Good. And so- <laughs> 
<laughs> so we were pelted by boulders. We avoided them, yeah. but then we saw what they were coming from. An enormous stone, con I mean, enormous, right? Yeah. Stone construct uh, that was siphoning up stone from the mountain and firing it projectile style uh, at, at us, uh, which wasn't great. So, you know, we had a ballista and a, and a catapult, I think, on board and, mm -hmm. you know, shock it can eldritch blast the other side of the globe yeah. so uh yeah. so we got into a little fight <laughs> and it lasted okay, 5.25 seconds mm -hmm. yeah just just shy of um uh, at which point it's badass because we had Celise casting spells using her using the ranged weapon of right. the the, the ballista is the pointy thing that she yeah the ballista is the yeah. pointy thing the, the the thing with the thorns and then um decapitated you know, the it blast completely yeah, well, I forgot about that. Which was which was fun because it was like it was all a big stone mass. So we're mm -hmm. assuming, okay, where the giant glowy eyeball is on the top must be the head. And mm -hmm. it took its head off. As honestly, if anyone oh, on this if anyone on this team's gonna take someone's head off, it's gonna be Celise. You know, yeah, obviously. So yeah. it was a um, great shot. She's she's it's good at it. It's like yeah, 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 yeah. so there have been a lot of times Celise has decapitated someone actually. And it didn't stop. Like, you know, it yeah. didn't stop. And we're like, um that was, oh, okay, that's okay. odd. <laughs> so, the number one weakness, okay. always go for the neck. So <laughs> We're then <laughs> trying to basically aim for what feels like the controlling mass. And yeah. Dahani, Dahani got a good look at it, like right. a really good look, and noticed that there appeared to be, beyond just the center mass of the creature, there appeared to be something um, glowing in it. I remember that's when I had to get up and take a break, and I heard nucleus being said a lot from the other room. And I'm sure. like, yeah, they're saying nucleus an awful lot in there. Ah, um, yeah. Um, Someone may or may not have played Metroid Prime recently. Uh -huh. and about, uh, there's a specific boss in there. Got it. Like, yeah. oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking that. The, yeah. In one of the most amazing moments, again, like just badass moments happen with great roles in combat. Dahani yeah. spotted that and did a like, kind of like an aiming, like just going yeah. to go at it, try to clutch whatever that thing is and go yeah. through. The DC was 23. There was a, a, like, a, exactly. Like I wasn't taking it easy on you all. No. And huh? Kalani, we're, we're just high level. You're just high level. You're doing it well. That's you know? how we do. Technically uh -huh. it's an impossible thing it, it really for was. people yeah. to do. Well, it that's like, the DC. Like, it, like, Imagine that. Let's say a normal person, uh, or not even a normal person, someone who's got zero plus zero, positive right. benefits yeah. or negative modifiers to them, like an right. NPC just running around. They right. could not Couldn't have do it. done that. Impossible no. for them. Level 19 is a whole thing. Um, yeah. And it was. It's it was a, this it's great, the level, like, yeah. No, I was going to say, it's the level at which you can dive bomb giant stone constructs yeah. and tear out the person in the center of them, which is what Dahani did. She flew yeah. in and right through the, grabbed a thing and out the other side, a little hug. Yeah. And uh, as they landed and Dahani opened her glorious, illustrious wings, uh, we discovered that the thing that she pulled out of the middle of this construct that was directing it and guiding it and controlling it was none other then our favorite socialist construct, Gosric Nomad. Gosric. Hello, Gosric. What a surprise for everyone. Uh, yeah, total surprise. Yeah. Uh, it was a surprise. <laughs> I, was there was some... <laughs> I was pretty shocked. Yeah, I was, pretty I was shocked. too. There was a, to be there clear. Were, there, were some was sprinkled, there were some sprinkled there hints were, hey, that some of us could have gone on but did not. To... Mm -hmm. It was true. Mm -hmm. If it had gotten to a full six seconds, <laughs> you would have seen some signature tells. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. It's all right. No, no, no. Don't apologize to me. I, if anything, Five. I should be apologizing to you. you had, I had, I had a massive, seconds, incredible right. move planned. Yeah. <laughs> uh, six. But, I think um, that pretty much, uh, I don't know. Yeah, if it, like it was like a gold, it was sort of a golden orb, and there yeah, was yeah. like an image, there was an image of a throne on it, and also like it was kind of clear like the Xanathar sigil was on it, and yes. And that was kind of how we ended. We were like, boom, it's Gosrick inside the thing. Yeah, that was how we ended. Perfect. Well, um, then I think it's time for me to step in as the GM and tell us where we go from. But wait, not. I think actually this episode, we have to talk about what happened to Gosrick. How did he end up uh, in that little segment? Did we? As the group tries to. I was ready to pick it up right now. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I mean... please, please. Honestly, I wanted to add, this is a little, a little treat for I the guess. audience. This one, uh, I'm not the GM for, at least not for this part. Um, and I'm not going to say anything else. That's I'm going to leave it to you all. Hey, what? <laughs> say what? Uh, what do we like do? Gosrick. surprised by this. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? 
Uh, so, even though it was in the tweet that this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, right? I was like, I um, so to give everybody like a mini, 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 mini refresher, um, at in season 14, uh, we had this whole face-off with Laurel Silverhand, and she kind of tried to hit us all where we live. And she she gave Gosrick some words that really hit him hard, essentially calling himself a socialist, saying that he's doing good, but is he really a philanthropist? And that more than any like more than any of the magic or any anything else thrown that day, I think hit Gosrick the hardest. And during this past year, Gosrick has been away. He left us a note. He didn't refill the moonbeam juice, which we're going to talk about later. And went off come on yeah so gosrick where did you go when you decided that you needed some space from troll skull after all of that what was where'd you head i think gosrick just picked a direction you know he yeah. was like i gotta straight to the ocean <laughs> no you know I think... just walk into the sea just done <laughs> it's been um nice in walter deep but i think it's time yeah let's get the just go that way yeah it kind of points in a direction and walks forward north through the field ward um and then eventually out yeah uh and walks around uh you know there's plenty of i I think the idea as you presented it to us was that he wanted to maybe try and reconnect a little bit with nature and try and center himself again does that feel right Uh, i i definitely think at the beginning he doesn't know if it's that clear is like what the purpose of it is but in just a way of like, I'm kind of in Gumpian style. I just yeah. gotta go All right. in that direction. Well, you go that direction. I gotta, I gotta go into that Gumpian forest. Gumpian is my favorite new Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, you head out and you walk and walk and, and maybe it was conscious, maybe it was subconscious, maybe it was, you know, that power drawing you, but you end up in the forest that's, you know, a little ways outside of Waterdeep, just sort of wandering aimlessly. Um, and uh, you know, you have little forest creatures that are curious. You spot some squirrels on tree branches sort of looking down and chittering at you occasionally, tossing acorns at your... Or, well, I should say acorn caps and husks, not the full acorns. They wouldn't dare. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but tossing little things down on you from above. Mm-hmm. Oh. Is this... Am I a charity case, or is this... Is this playful? I... Uh, you look it's... up and you watch a squirrel, like, tear the cap off of an acorn with one hand, hold the, like, part that it can eat very close, and chuck the other piece at you. Ah. Oh, God, that's my eye. Thank you, I guess. It's... Uh, just like, and that, and you look back and the, the squirrel is just clutching that one acorn. Yeah, yeah, that's yours. I'm not going to eat it, man. Just relax. It's, it's, it's your... I don't even want your echo. I didn't even come here asking for it. I just, I, I was on my walk, <laughs> doing my own thing, and then you got... And you, you look up and you look around and you notice that not only this one, this one acorn, I just want to say husk chucker, but this acorn uh-huh. cap chucker, there are other squirrels. Like, they're, they're all kind of in different branches and some are, some are on the ground, some are looking around bushes, and they're all, they're all kind of like clutching like their own little like their own little cache of nuts and they are they are kind of like huh giving you the squirrel equivalent of the suspicious stink eye which i think we've all we've all literally seen in a public park so you know. absolutely but you know what fine fine i i take your things and i will use and i like grab all the husks off the ground uh-huh I was like i don't even want to be here just being so rude and he starts digging uh, in the earth, and he like puts them down, and says, "Fine, you guys don't want your trash. I don't want it either." And then I, uh, I cast Wither and Bloom <gasps> on the little pocket of dirt, um, so and I want to like fertilize the earth with the leftover like remnants of it, and then the wither is just afterwards, unthinking about it as sort of like the byproduct. Um, it's like, there, fine. At least you want to reduce your usage. It's composting. You animals know nothing about it. <laughs> and he, like, turns around. Uh, as he turns around, he sees a wave 
of squirrels coming towards this fresh foliage. There's like dozens of them just like coming towards this freshly grown whatever. And they begin, you know, pulling off. I don't, what kind of, was it, but is it the acorn? Is it a like, yeah, it's uh, literally just the acorn caps that put in. And then I think it's like, as he looks back, um, a little like sapling is like kind of like popping up, like already producing like acorns. Yeah, so they're, I mean, they're picking off the little ones. Go ahead. Yeah, with your level of magic, like, yeah, you you may have kind of intended for it to be just like a, like, I'll show you, like, ha ha ha. And there is a little sapling and it grows and it starts producing, but also because of your nature magic, it spreads this, the bloom spreads into the forest and even the trees, which a moment ago had been stripped clean, even they start producing nuts and there are just nuts falling everywhere and squirrels swarming in. Yeah. And it's a lot of squirrels, a lot, lot, lot of squirrels. Uh, what tell me what, what what did Gosric pack? What was what would you pack with yourself on this oh, yeah. journey? Oh um just truly his beard and the clothes on his back. Okay, so no no food, no, no uh food. Got it. on you. I can I, I can imagine I'm magic enough that I could make myself food from the earth around me. It's like Kazakh thing. It's like I can, I'll get if I need to eat. I can eat. Um, okay. I you did not la- take my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Inten- intentionally, intentionally, I, I have zero money on me. Okay, right? that is very, very important. You, you, do you have like a pouch of some sort or some kind of pack? I mean, I have my beard. What are you asking? Okay, me? okay, just okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I apologize. I still have I have, I have twigs Fair and enough. stuff to like cast my magic that I okay. Need. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do a perception roll for me? Just roll perception. Wigs and okay. stuff. Oh my god. So the arch druid would never. I, I feel like the player may not be a forester <laughs> scrounger <laughs> at all. It's been a while since Dru- he's just done druid stuff. You know what I mean? True. It's true. I, I I'm guess. excited for him. How'd Ooh. that perception roll go? Uh, two plus five. <laughs> oh no. That is still a single number. Yeah, okay. It's good. All right. Okay. So you don't notice uh, what I was telling everybody else. Okay. What? All okay, right. okay. Great. Just oh, great. God, oh, there's so many squirrels, and why are there? There's too much fur. Yep. There's yep. nothing in the tail. There's too much fur running around. Spiders are simpler. Their hair serves a part. Jeez, Louise. If this was a swarm of spiders. I'd be fine. Ugh. But I guess um, you're cute. You yeah, we're definitely. No, no, there are no... Could you keep it down out there? Please, it's, we're trying to eat. And popping out of your beard uh, is a little squirrel who has hustled up and started storing the small berries on this sapling inside your beard. No, 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 it's, what are you doing? That's not, that's not a hole. What are you I, doing? Well, I found it, it's mine. It's where I need to store my stuff. No, no, what do you mean it's not yours? This is me, I, I'm a part of this beard. Find your keepers. Oh, find those! I, I grab it by the neck and I, I chuck them out. <gasps> oh, get, oh goodness! You need to give an animal handling roll for that. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you know, do you need to, like? I, I don't. Are we handling it safe? Animal I, man handling. <laughs> Thank you. This is the role Gosrick needed. This is Gosrick's animal man handling roll of a twenty-three. Get off you get? No, get the what? <laughs> twenty-three. <laughs> Somehow, Gosrick, you throw the squirrel without managing to kill it. Yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> but as you're fighting with the squirrel, you yeah. run into something very hard, and it actually <laughs> clangs like metal. Oh, you can't off. see it, but you definitely felt it. Ew, what was that? Uh, what do you mean? That, that's not you or you're one of your buddies? No, we don't sound like that when you run into us. We kind of have a dull thud sound like I just did when you threw me out of your beard. Well, thank you for using the proper word, my beard. Mm. I appreciate you for reminding me that you were trespassing. Excuse me. Are you not Gosric? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, rival. Oh, geez, geez, Louise, is that you? Yes, you can stop pawing at me now. Well, no, I just, I needed to, I, I, I like brush some of the, the ivy and like, like growth away. Like, oh, God, how are you? 
I'm functional. It's surprising to see any of the rivals here. Oh. You parked me and forgot about me. Wow. Wow. You know, to be fair, I, I, I'll i be real. I think the rest of us assume that you could kind of move on your own. I can I don't move think Virgil on my own. Will... Oh, you can? I'm a ship. Yeah, but you have your own thoughts. You have your own feelings. You have your... I do have what you call feelings. However, I thought in the months since you returned, one of you would have checked on me. Yeah. Yeah, I thought one of us would have. Um, wow. I, you know, it's been tough. I, I, I don't want to speak for the others, but I know that we've really had to, been doing a lot there's been a lot of pushback and bureaucracy around being made a mask lord, which also, oh my god, I gotta explain to you what the mask lord is. So, so in Wapiteep, the level as of you, as the way the government fade uh, out. Rival, <laughs> no, Rival's door opens, yeah. kind of like, oh, okay. if, if this is going to be a long story, just come inside. <laughs> yeah, Don't exactly. step, you're in the forest arguing with squirrels, clearly it's a hard day. No, I, thank you, thank you. It's been a hard moment, let me... Honestly, I'm kind of envious of you. This seems incredible. Look at you, just like. Have you, what do you been, what do you been meditating on out here? Do you meditate? Is it something you do? I have cognitive functions. Yes. Okay. Have well, you considered Gosric, instead of perhaps fighting with the wildlife, using your druidic abilities to help? Maybe. I mean, but they got us not, they got to not climb on me, though. I didn't ask for them to come out. They, they climbed on me. They, they were in my beard. That's, I, that's not, that's. That's one particular, and like points to the, <laughs> the one that's like running around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been running around the inside of Rival trying to like find cracks that he can hide some of the acorns that were so ignominiously expelled <laughs> so no, would, no. would rival understand that this is what the squirrel is trying to do before i speak as her uh probably has probably observed not. the behavior from yeah. the outside yeah yeah just running around i don't know if she knows what the squirrel's trying to do excuse me small mammal oh, <laughs> hang on <laughs> oh, oh, where'd that voice come from it is the ship you are in Oh, I'm out of here. No, 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 no. Hey, you, when you decide you want to be more generous and help other people and let us live in your beard, you let us know. What? And then it runs on the ship. Farewell, <laughs> small mammal. I did not see you uh, start the ship. See? <laughs> see, if you had helped the small mammal, you would not have made an enemy. An enemy? He made an enemy of me? This? This is what it is. This is why I don't come out anymore. I have been <laughs> enjoying my time in the city. I have, I have, I have learned how to engage with people. I felt so good uh -huh. being away from the earth and not having its smell. Gosric. <laughs> Gosric. <laughs> As I am but a sentient spaceship. Might I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you believe what you're saying? And... Are you truly, truly as altruistic as you are trying to make yourself sound? Why don't you help? I don't know. The other Eric Hokra that Dahani knows, or what is the acronym they use? F, 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 W, G? No one explained what that means to me, though. Oh. I don't know. Have you, has... Has Walter been coming out to see you? Yes, he has been making sure I'm not tied to this forest by the growth and that I still am remembered. Okay. God, that hurts. Why does that hurt so much? It really, it's, I, every time it's I what see what you, I do best nice. being, being a ship's <laughs> computer. <laughs> um, God, you want to Okay. Do like a nature check on the nature of um, 
I, he wants to see if he casts Dispel Magic the right way, can he let Rival fly on its own? Uh, then could it no longer need, could it, could it, could I fix the programming in a way that Rival is perhaps a little more free thinking, a little more free moving, <laughs> perhaps really free targeting? No. Do we really need that? I'm just saying what, what <laughs> might no, send that's... Rival into their, their position. Sure, is, I would, sure. I would say that yeah. you could, I would, I would say that you can try and get a feel since the, since, you know, the, the Rivals did encounter a lot of weird, is it magic, is it tech? So, it's you can it's, try it's like the astral um, plane, yeah, right. So like, yeah, you you can you can try um you know to state your to kind of state your intent and if you'd like to try and cast something to I, I guess allow more autonomy of rival. Yeah, I think I I, I go to rival and say, you know, like let me help. What's right in front of me and who's right in front of me first? Um, and like I go outside and I um sort of use a little bit of gust to like push away the like simple like dirt and debris uh i like use uh a little bit of shape water to like wash and like clean away some of the stuff on the outside um and i explained the rival this idea it's like you know it's a shame that you're kind of stuck here um would is there a way to like Get you to move. We have a buddy out in um uh, in in Waterdeep, Brian. He's kind of like you. He's a sentient moving automaton in a some way, but moves on their own. I with a brain for a core. <laughs> I, I I I got it. <laughs> go for it. Yeah, I appreciate your concern. However. I have complete freedom of movement. There is nothing restricting me. I was merely ordered to stay here and wait while the rest of you left. Oh! But you know... No, I'm doing it to myself. I know, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> did... <laughs> did anyone tell you how long to stay for? Because <laughs> if I'm honest, Rival, I think you've... you might have stayed long enough. You know, you are one of the rivals. You could give me a countermanding order. Oh. Um, rival, do what you want. Are you I sure? I am frozen by decision paralysis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, we, are, we are now, what is the, in, is it inside out? What is the movie with all the thinkers? We're all this inside of rival right now. Like, uh, mm, yeah. Mm. You actually, so what you see is all of rival's <laughs> panels light up. Yeah. As it's clear, this is an indication of her thinking mm -hmm. and eventually so doing what i want encompasses leaving if i so choose correct yeah yeah that that's a great thing if you so choose if you so choose to do whatever um oh hey hey some parameters um hold please you did say whatever i want yeah yeah so, but I, therefore I, I, you cannot impose parameters after the order has been given well, maybe. Well, how about not an order, a suggestion, a piece of advice? I will take it under advisement and probably ignore it, but please proceed. Perfect. Hey, um, do the same thing that you told me to do. Help out. Mm -hmm. Do what you want and help out. Then I suggest are, we find... Oh, go ahead, Brian. Are, are you saying that I should help? Yeah. I mean, however you can, however you may, to the people that help the most amount of people, yeah. Help out. I will think about this, Gosric. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, also, squirrels are nasty vermin. They like to burrow and they use their sharp teeth to get into places. So I just want you to, if you have any sensors to see if they've been nesting in your hardware or, or over the time that you've been here, if anyone's gotten in. As, as I heard that! It, yeah, as you I hope that, you the did! Entire, I... The entire dragonfly shudders. Yeah. <laughs> and and exactly, it's like you just hear this. Ah! 
Yep. There we go. That's <laughs> <it>. that's, that's it. <laughs> See, told you. I had not considered this. I had merely sat here waiting. However, perhaps playing a more active role in my own outcome is something to consider. And at that point, the door, the hatch, whatever, <clears throat> to rival opens again. Uh, and uh, she, doesn't, she doesn't say anything, but all of the lights on the panels sort of like are pointing towards the door. Not super suddenly. <laughs> That's funny. Like, like it's a movie theater. Like the yeah, lights. Yeah. <laughs> just like, like, yeah. Like, what the am I calling system it? System comes on. Closing time. Yeah, that's right. Seriously. Yeah, there, are lighted, there are lighted indicators indicating the way you should get the fuck out. I got the hint. I got the hint. Hey, Rival, you enjoy your thing, man. Um, or okay. uh, it, or uh, uh, I don't know how you. The hat shuts it. behind you. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, <laughs> if you ever want to hang out. Come find me, dude. I'll see ya. Yeah. Um, at, as you step outside, um, the initial, um, I guess, food source they created has grown even more outside. Um, so now there's not only squirrels here, there's all kinds of animals. There's there's deer. There's, uh, you know, um, all different kinds of, like, uh, animals that are all, all here. And they turn around and they look at you. Um, and... One, one, one of the deer uh, says, "Did you do this?" I, th I don't know, man. Maybe just I, I don't want to take credit for it. I mean, the squirrels were saying that a bearded, like you, looking thing did this. Yeah, oh, he's fair. just being modest. It was definitely him. Oh, okay. Uh, could you do some more? What do you need, man? Like, do you take requests? Yeah, I mean, it's within reason. I'm not going to play something that no one really wants to hear. It's just your thing. Okay. Um, did you do, like, maybe, like, a... Do you, like, know what a... Um, a uh, uh, I, for, I forgot what deer eat, guys. Um, yeah. Um, you you just do stuff. Yeah, yeah. Grass, I don't know. Grass, yeah. Shrubberies. Yeah. Shrubberies. Yeah. yeah. And like you just make just like the biggest shrub that shrubs have ever shrubbed right over there. It's okay. like a nice tasty looking shrub. Okay. Yeah, dude. Uh, I just cast Wall of Thorns and I like let it like turn around and I let, and like, but like I, it, hear me out. As it like grows, uh, I like let it come together, and then I cast heal on it and let, like, the thorns begin to, like, bloom and, like, continue and, like, begin some foliage pops out That's as cool. it's, like, a rose bush, actually. Um, just a tangle. It's just really, like, a bouquet of roses with thorns on the inside. Cool. Okay, I, know cool. How you, I know how you all like to ruin gardens, so <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you just made the shrub, so I'll try not to take that intentionally personally. I'm not trying to say it. it sorry, and, uh, sorry, 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 sorry. And then at that point, there's another request, and another request, and another request. And it's, uh, do you stay here? Sunflowers. Yeah. Do you stay here fielding these requests, or do you? Uh... I think for like a week, Gosrick is like <gasps> begrudgingly just like complaining about it the entire time. But it's just like doing anything and everything they ask for, like barely sleeping, just like really getting pretty grungy um, out here. Yeah, I think after I think you uh, notice. Yeah. Oh, yes. Over, I think you notice place. over time. Of course, time, we are. Like, no, go ahead. Because no, no, was, no, no. You I think go. You notice that y'all are perfect. While you've been doing this, and yeah. while you've been giving, while you've basically been becoming like the bounty of the forest for all these creatures. Like in the beginning. They were all like rushing in and hoarding. They were all taking their bits, but over time, and maybe it's your magic, maybe it's your influence, they're sharing a lot more of the bounty with each other. Like it, it's like there were hoarded piles of nuts and leaves, and and it's like it's very, very equitable out out here in this forest that you've somehow changed these creatures for perhaps the better. 
And I think like over the time, it's not a one way street. Like guys are curmudgingly, begrudgingly bemoaning these individuals, like, and like kind of insulting them while giving them these gifts. Uh, the insults sort of stop. Um, and it's just like, yeah, hey, what's up, Frank? How's the water at the lake? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> cool. It's gonna go first. Uh, you you can ask about anyone, like ask ask about the wife, maybe. Oh, she's doing sorry. pretty good too. Oh, good. Good to know. Oh. Yeah, how is Danny? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Can you ask about the kids or anything? Or well, just, I mean, I assume that's about following me? up. But well, that's all right. All right. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. How many? How big is your litter now? There's like what six of them? Uh, eight. Eight. My goodness. I stay busy. How is Diane? How is Dana? How is Dave? How? Oh is my God. At this D'Angelo? point, I'm walking <laughs> up into this clearing. My goodness. Um, walking into the the clearing as you are asking about the eight children of this creature um <clears throat> is a uh is a, a half elf uh, like dressed you know water davian fashion looks like came from water deep um and sort of looks around and uh waves at you gazric and says um what are all these animals doing here um they're the citizens of the forest and they live here. Uh, what are you doing here? Who are you? Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Uh, you're Gosric Nomad, right? I mean, who's asking? Uh, yep. I shouldn't have taken this part of the story on because now my name is Tim. Okay. <laughs> it's cool. I get it. Top Tim. tier name. Top yeah. tier. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm Tim, yeah. more, more to the point, uh, Gosric, I, uh, I was staying uh, at Trollskull, lovely place you've got there, by the way. Oh. Um, <clears throat> and uh, uh, I found this note and some vague instructions. I've been wandering for like a day and a half trying to find you. Oh. Uh, but, uh, and he hands over, he hands over uh, a parchment, uh, which has, uh, at the top, has like delivered to Gosric Nomrad, somewhere in the woods north of Waterdeep. Yeah, that sounds uh, about right. And the note below uh, is a note from the rivals. Uh, and it says, uh, I think this probably happened after you left, but it tells you that Dahani went to Chult yeah. uh, just to spend some time and that she's gotten herself into some trouble. The rivals, the rest of the rivals uh, have already headed that way. They had a quick way to get out there, but they need you to meet them out there as quickly as possible. They've secured passage on a ship for you. Terrific. All right. Where's, uh, and I know where the ship's located. Yeah, it's out of, uh, it's out of the, the, the troll gate uh, at the field ward. Okay. See you later, Tim. And I immediately turn into a giant hawk uh, animal, like just like wild shape into it. And I'm out. The, the moment I see that they need, that the rivals need me. Uh, oh, it scares me every time when he turns. Oh my board. God, Steve! You gotta let me know when you're on board, dude. I'll be mindful of the takeoff. It's a whole the turbulence is a thing. Just just hold on tight. Ah! Well, I was back in my own. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you head towards the towards the troll gate back back at the city. Absolutely. Um. So there is a, there is someone waiting there for you. You know, you find someone who, who knows about the ship passage, but they say, uh, you know, they tell you, oh, we have to come with me. And they take you to this like well-hidden little, like very small little pier. Uh, okay. And there's a little bitty rowboat there. And the person is like, you know, we'll take you to, this is our, this is our tender ship, our tender boat. We'll take you to the, to the ship. We, you know, the docks here in the field ward were, uh, were pretty full. And we, uh, we, you know, we just didn't want to mess with that. We knew that you were in a hurry. Okay. Yeah, man. Whatever gets me to the rivals, let's do it. I'm trying to help people. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. So you, uh, you know, you get rowed out yeah. and you get to this ship and you board the ship. Um, and everybody on it is uh, wearing like hooded robes. Everybody. I, they're perfectly capable sailors, yeah. uh, but like everybody has hooded robes on. Man, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I don't have mine today. I, I, I like turn to one of them and say, <laughs> tough work uniform, huh? So what's it like in the summer? Is it uh, pretty hot wearing that? Uh, I mean, and this one, you know, it's all go right. ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, you know, it's like you sweat, but the robe kind of gets it. And then, you know, you get to like snap it over the ship. They, they let us like, there's one port where they let us snap it over the side of the ship and get the salt water out. But yeah, it's not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like it hot. Mm. Says another. Um, okay. Uh, they're weird. Looks like we have a talker here. Great. Mm. Oh, our guys, come on. Look, I, I, we got to get the salt and I'm on the ship. How long's the, the passage? Might as well make it enjoyable. Uh, like weeks. It's going to take okay. you weeks. <laughs> and okay. you being super chatty doesn't mean this will be enjoyable for anyone but you. Wow. Okay. Well, don't mind me. Uh, where's my cabin then? I'll just go hang out there for weeks. They I like all... it hot. They... They... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. They all, when you basically ask where your cabin is, like in unison, they all point you in the direction. And you can kind of see like towards the front part. I don't know ship parts. So this is uh, the stern. The stern. Yes, it's a very he stern. Said immediately ship. after you had your sister. They point towards the stern, and there does appear to be, you know, in addition to, you can see like the captain also, yeah. but also very weirdly hooded and just, you actually never heard the captain speak. He's just doing the wheel thing. But there are, um, there is like a door at the stern, and yeah. they all just immediately point to that door right. and and then go back to their duties, ignoring you. Well, that's your job. I mean, I'm, I can't even complain about that. You're all doing doing what you need to do. Oh God! You know what? And it, this wrong. is just the like the back all of the them. ship. So Isn't sorry. Four? They pointed you I'm to so... the ass. Of, they pointed you to the ass of the ship because that feels appropriate in this moment. So I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gazer, Gazer moves. He gets it. <laughs> God. Uh, the cabin is pretty bare. Yeah. Uh, which is like not surprising it's just it's a long journey uh yeah. but not not super surprising so what is uh it's a long journey right yeah. and uh not everyone on the crew is like immediately hostile but no one is overly friendly yeah what does gazrick get up to on this week's long journey just a couple of things quickly first uh foremost uh using druidcraft to make a hammock out of some vines uh in the actual cabin so he has something to sleep on um, and then, honestly, he climbs. He goes to the crow's oh, nest, and he just kind of oh. sits up there. If no one wants to talk to him, he's like, okay, then I'm just going to be up here and we get back close to nature or whatever. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you roll a perception check real quick from the from the crow's nest, and then I'll toss it to Sharif. But I yeah. to something. Uh, yeah. I got a 15 on that. I think with the 15, it's not that you see anything. It's that you notice that genuinely not a single crew member, at least that you've ever seen, has ever taken their hood down. Rain, snow, well, no snow. Rain, shine, fog. That's and from up here, That's it's just like thing. more obvious because you're looking down at just like a sea of cowled heads. Yeah, I guess, I guess being below everyone i still got like facial features and I saw yeah, it. The first yeah time but from up here it's like just oh. yeah also as you're up on the crow's nest um you kind of hear someone shouting that's my job what i'm the lookout uh, i'll look out for you go on your union break my dude i got you I'm not What's a union you hear from somewhere yeah, else? What's a union? What's a union? <laughs> oh, boys, you haven't... I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk. I'm not Where's sharing it? my salary with you. I don't I like want it hot. any of your salary. It, and you share it with there? each other. He's still talking, yes. I think... She was right, chatterbox. Oh. I think we God. should perhaps put him in some more permanent accommodations. Oh, uh, wait, no, there was a word that hospitality. I'm well, I like it hot. Yes, yes, we know. And and she pats him on the head and just kind of gently <laughs> shoves him off stage. <laughs> <laughs> off stage, off to the bow, somewhere. Yeah. Please go go fishing. Go fix a sail or oh, something. Oh, that's the front. Yeah. Yes. Um 
Yeah, and so you, <laughs> I think you have a, I think a few of the crew are interested to learn about unions. Sure, um, I'll roll a persuasion roll. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, you know I'll... what? Roll, roll both persuasion and insight for us. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I love that. And while that happens, you, honey, I'm giving so you plus a two on that. Okay, There's great. Fourteen plus two is sixteen. That that one went. Yeah, you get much some better. folks to. Get a couple plus head knocks. on the insight. Who I'm chatting with people? So twenty nine. 29 on the insight on the insight 29. so you do with the 16 you do get people to come and listen to you most of them don't stay more than through like one union lecture sure. the few that do look very nervous about it <laughs> okay yeah. like very nervous <laughs> Like, yeah. like they might get keel hauled for listening to this too much. Yeah. Cool. Um, Which so was the, the keel? Is that the, that's the front? No, or the that, back that's right? no, that's just throwing you off the ship. I think keel haul is <laughs> not on a ship. It's otherwise known as overboard. I just mopped this one spot. I don't really know ships. Are you so. I like it hot. It's always in the one spot when you walk. Yeah, in. just mopping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. mopping the same spot. They told uh, me to mop this spot. So as, um, as oh yeah. sorry you hit no 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 you've got it go ahead uh, so as as you're trying to lecture people the one that called you a chatterbox just comes along and goes you know Gosrick we we really want to hear more about this union thing and we think you should have a place of honor to do this from yeah yeah come, uh, come with me sure okay and she just kind of gently or not so gently depending on how much you annoy her ushers you to this ornate chair I follow and I say yeah um who's Who's the captain on the ship? Actually, I haven't had a chance oh, to speak you, with you them. Oh, you saw the captain. They're they're busy getting us to Chult. Don't worry about them. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, and so she just kind of not so subtly puts you in the chair. Okay. Yeah. It's a and it's a nice chair. It looks right? nice. Like it is. Yeah. It is all. It's not quite a throne, right? That's a little ostentatious for the ship. But it's really beautifully carved yeah. in the back, like right at the the where your head would be in the headboard. Is this really beautiful? Like basically, it looks like a sun. It's just a a big circle with like squiggly heat lines coming out of it, right? Ooh, um, yeah. And the arms are these beautiful scrolls. Yeah. Uh, this is a nice chair. I mean, is is this the captain's chair? I mean, oh, also, no. it's for honored guests. Wait, you guys, is there a reason why your hoods are always up? Just sorry, it feels rude to ask, but I also it's you... the the sun oh. is the sun's yeah. really bad. Oh, I like it. Oh, you guys yeah, you love stay, the sun. Stay. That's why you got the sun thing up here. <laughs> Yeah, we, do, we also respect it. So you know, yeah. you gotta like keep it covered, otherwise you're gonna get sick out here. Yeah, sure. that's right. As 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 you ask that, you try to sort of, you know, get more comfortable in the seat, kind of move around a bit, and you notice that it's getting really hard to move around in the seat. Like you almost feel like you're, uh, um, affixed to it, or compelled. Or compound. It's very comfortable though. So yeah, it's, very it's not com- like it negative. Yeah, why would you want to? Why would you want to go? Like it's a very yeah. comfortable chair. It's a lovely uh, chair. This is a nice chair, guys. Um, is there like a footstool? I mean, like I'm kind of comfortable, but I was going to stretch my legs out. It's, you should it's lean very nice. back a little bit so that you're resting against the chair, so you're nice and comfy. Gosrick says yeah. someone that isn't the I like it hot man. You know what? Let, let me slide back a little bit on it, and like, and like he he goes, and, and he's kind of yeah. like leans back it's like okay as soon as your head touches the back of the chair you see something out of the corner of your eye begin to move that carving of the sun the heat lines begin to sort of wiggle and move and change and you can't see this but the center part of the sun right behind where your head is opens like an eye and the heat lines become 10 spokes coming out from this central circle and guys Rick, we need you to make a wisdom saving throw with disadvantage please that's fair. that is absolutely like that fair. we like we all need you that's <laughs> we need you i love this turnaround on the end. Like, we all need you to roll yeah so it's yeah. 16 is 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 what i got uh at a disadvantage huh? at a disadvantage okay. the other, okay. yeah all right uh I think that is the last immediately conscious thought that Gosric has for some time. The last thing you see, Gosric, is out uh, out in the distance. Uh, you hear someone from the crow's nest who finally took their spot back yelling, Land ho! And you can just barely in the distance see smoke coming out of the peaks of flame on, on Chult. Um, 
go ahead and make three more wisdom saves, all with disadvantage, for sure. Okay. One of them is a net one. Okay, <laughs> okay great. Okay. Good start. The other one is a 12, seven plus five. Okay. Third one. Disadvantage is tough. Third one? Ooh. 21, 16 plus five. So wow. those, the the earlier checks, I'll take them kind of in the order that they happened over the weeks and over over this journey. Like you're, you are not consciously aware of it, but you are at some point magically aware that something is happening to your body and around your body. It's almost as though this chair is kind of absorbing your ability to control the elements and you know, it's it's not like you're actively casting, but it's sort of using your magic and it's sort of starting to change the elements of the chair and sort of start to almost as if it's building, you know, like the way the way a caterpillar builds a cocoon. It's starting to maybe build this weird sort of magical shell around you. But again, like you you feel this, but you don't really know it. You're still sort of locked in. Um, and then with that with that second role. You know, you gain just a little bit. You kind of like move. You, you, you're, you're for that brief moment. Maybe like, the, like the light from outside actually hit your eyes, and yeah. it kind of like snapped you for just a second. And you look around, and it's not. You, you like you realize again. Like I can't, I can't really move. And it's odd that you can even move your eyes, but you can see that that shell is still kind of, kind of forming. And with that last one again something inside you because you recognize the flavor of this magic it is your magic it is part of you you realize that somehow you're doing this but you somehow you're doing this but you're not doing this and with that i'm sorry was it a 21 yeah the last i can't one. remember numbers oh, yes numbers. um with that with that 21 like you know, you are, it, it is isn't. It is encasing, not encasing, but it is sort of building up around you. And it is, it is about up to the level of your awesome beard. And, you know, you are able to have some awareness. What do you, what do you feel and realize in, in that moment? Um, I think there's been a moment of just like, over this time of being in this chair of like, a recollection of, like actually just giving for the sake of giving without mm. thinking about investments, without thinking about like, like building like his time, like actually in the forest, um, thinking about also briefly, like when he started being a druid and like the way he learned how to do it was revolutionary. The notion of then not only just like embracing nature, but like fencing it almost of like hey like these are hard to get materials and we have ready access to them like these moose shed their antlers and they're great spell casting components that like certain people need and like we are just actually like, we should sell that and then use that to benefit the city like these ideas at home were so wild and like he thinks that for a moment about like how long He's just been con connected to that and like they need to fight for that notion about like being engaged with the everything like you have to like enter the mm. market to like fight it to support it to like build out things um and i think he actually goes back to when gazer was a kid and learning how to be a druid and the idea of like you just hear someone say at the end of the day, it's just about being. Being is enough. And how you help others just be, that's on you, dude. And I think that with, <clears throat> with that moment of realization, like Gosrick is, Gosrick, because of that time and introspection, is really becoming a true revolutionary. Yeah. You are able to push back a little bit with your magic like it, it isn't as though you can control what's happening but you're almost adding to the flavor of it just a bit and you can tell it's been using 
it's been using cold and earth and air to sort of form this like yeah like metallic kind of sphere around you and as you're thinking about those moments and you're realizing at the end of the day it's all about you like you push a little bit of your magic and as the sphere is closing you are aware that it starts glowing in a way that it wasn't when it was building itself it just starts glowing extraordinarily brightly and then it seals over and i love it uh and then the next thing you know you're being slam tackled by donnie yeah. uh out of the oh, did you have something else Reef? yeah yeah, well, yeah, one, yeah one, one thing so subconsciously because of you being somewhat aware yeah you kind of threw when those rocks were being tossed yeah you kind of subconsciously whiffed a little bit Ooh. okay yeah when when you had sort of these rocks going around the the nucleus of your thing that was you kind of subconsciously manifesting like this is where you guys need to need to get me from and that's why that's why dahani was able to detect that so you kind of had a hand yeah in in like some of these tells even though you weren't aware because of those saves from before also, you uh, had a ton of other plans for tells, but Dahani managed to save you so quickly. Right, right, right. 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 <laughs> and I, I feel like we come back in after Dahani has done like her her baller move, and she has she has clutched this nucleus out, and she opens her wings, and out of this out of this golden orb is Gosric, and all of you know us in the ship are kind of looking because we're all on lookout, and Dahani is right there next to you. Yeah, and at that moment. Masood, what happens? You see Gosric just go, <gasps> and he breathes for the first time fully after being. Where all of us are like, oh, we move. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> and like bits of dirt and like chunks of earth start coming out of his mouth, and he's just, <gasps> are you guys okay? Are you all okay? You're all okay. You guys are in trouble on Shelf, and so I'm here. <laughs> Are are you okay? Is the question. I think the, Give me the pronouns. Yeah, that we, as we can, got twisted. There's yeah. a lot of you and us, and yeah, seeing seeing this uh, rival bring us down. I think it might be over. And rival comes down, and you have a brief moment where Gosrich just sort of sits in front of you. Um, says puts his hand up uh, as uh, on a part of rival says. Good to see you. Hope you've been helping out. We've been yes. Uh, doing whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I, just, I have. I uh, have been doing what I want and helping out. So some people have taken objection to this. Particularly these folks, your friends. Well, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know if they took objection. Hey, Gosrick, it's good to see you, buddy. Um, how you been? Well, Tear. Sorry, I didn't even notice that you were here. Um, wow. Uh, oh, ow. It's good, it's good to see you. No, you know I get that a lot. Actually, I'm I'm usually around. Hi, right. hey, buddy. Uh, and then Gosrick sees duo, and that's. What's that? What's going on? It's been weird. Uh, it's been very weird. I think we uh, both have stories. We all yeah. have, have stories to exchange. It's duo. Duo's here. Or it's just duo, right? That's also fine. Hey, buddy. Oh. Hey, dude. <laughs> set it up. It's like, what's up exactly the board member? How you doing, bud? Duo has been silent since you all have been on Schultz, since like passing through the storm in this moment, has said nothing. Um, eyes sort of still fixed, unfocused, um, holding the scrap. And as Gazik looks at it, he goes, It wasn't the sun. It wasn't the sun. Okay, it wasn't the sun. Um, uh, okay, so. 
I I think I'm got I think I got bamboozled a little bit. I think I got I think I got hoodwinked. Um, I I left on my journey to be better and learn more about myself. And um, God, it was like maybe a month ago that I like yeah. What, what's been going on for you all in this past month? Uh, uh, what, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just left you know the other day. It, it was. In the I for like a had week a job as a bartender. It... it went terribly. Yeah, I yeah. was too chatty with the with the patrons. Sure, to forever to serve. Yeah, um, how'd, how'd you get here, Gosser? Um, <laughs> looks down at wow, my beard is really, 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 it's, really it's long a, for a month. Um, it's been a little uh, bit longer than what? a month. And he like Sorry. starts to tell you all a little bit of what he's been up to, That's... of like going out in the woods. Um, you know, begrudgingly, I, I I think I just like helping. You know, it was, it was nice to just be out there talking about his time in the forest and like the benefit. And it's like, yeah, and honestly, I don't think we meant to leave rival there for that long. But and I and I told them that, and he's like, we're chatting in this sort of moment. I'm gonna um, do an inside check on God. I love that. He, I love that he picks it right back up. Like, yeah, that absolutely. Not yep. in anything. Yep. What? <laughs> Just I'm like doing, I got, I'm I got doing it. an inside check on God. Please, I have a question. Please give me. Give I have me a question check. for uh, for Mister. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, after um. Go ahead. I have to oh, look up oh, my after Galdrick has yeah. woken up. Have have the conditions around us changed weather wise? Oh, Good, yeah. question. Um, Good question. So as as the golem has sort of fallen apart, you see the storm, the snow, like all this stuff has um, fallen. The rain out is sort of dissipating. The actual cloud coverage is no longer there there is no smoke rising from the volcanoes but the actual skies have cleared and there is just okay. sunlight sort of filtering through on what are now these snowy uh volcanic peaks that's good okay. that was a 16 on my inside check incredible uh what are you inciting for i don't believe this is Gosrick. I mean, he's our capitalist druid. Why is yeah. he talking about helping people? Socialist. Yeah, absolutely. Socialist. Socialist. He, no, he's our no. socialist. No, that was the, that was the sticking point. I'm just saying. Like, I know. I, 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 <laughs> that's what said, Laura was getting at. In case it wasn't clear, <laughs> Salise is a little bit of a pessimist. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, with your 16, you get some of it over the time um, of like, the thing about Gosrick is he. As much as he complains about doing work and stuff, he loves feeling like he thinks he's needed mm -hmm. and like just like being in a space of like stepping in and like, oh God, you know, they, they, they forgot how to do the books. And he's like, great, I get to help them. I get to like come Aww, in buddy. And, like, a, little, a little bit of way of like, and it's, you see him like settling in on that personally um, a little bit more as he talks about his time away. Uh, and you know, and then I got on a, I got a letter from a man named Tim um who arrived out in the forest um mentioned that you all were struggling had to go to that the honey had went to schultz and you all went to follow them so i i i hopped on the you guys had booked me passage on the boat and then all these gentlemen wearing hoods and having the sun sim sorry, okay what? as you as you say this we are all looking at each other like like, like uh what like huh? you, did, did you do an occult concert no, 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 no. I, didn't, I didn't join any, I, I, I didn't sign up. Did you form a cult? I, God, I wish. Um, <laughs> no, that what? definitely didn't happen. That's what? some revealing, okay. <laughs> okay. That, so... uh, who, who doesn't want to be a cult leader, you know? Most people. Well, it's like... Gosric, Rival told us that you had come to see them. Yeah. But that was... A year like ago. Nearly a year ago. A year ago? Jeez Louise, I really was only going to be on sabbatical for like two months out in the woods. Okay, now. what's the last, what is the last thing you remember? Um, I remember thinking about my time at home. And then the rocks closed in on me. Uh, I mean, I closed the rocks in on me, I guess. Close the rocks in on you. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, that my husk. And he like points to the the stones and stuff that were lying around. I mean, I remember bits bits and pieces <laughs> in there. Like I I, I remember um, uh, talking 
um, to someone behind me that I referred to as master. Um, and then I was like, there was this other individual, this like little fellow, um, it's kind of good look at for some reason, you know, he's like a little, little tiefling guy seems kind of young. Um, uh, but he was there helping cast some spells. Um, and then, oh, I remember we, um, reversed the geothermic energetic pool here on, uh, the volcano because we needed the power of the core of the planet to go directly to something that master was powering so i had to leave hold 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 hold, 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 huh? hold on uh huh? go 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 back, go, go yeah. back a few go back to that last sentence uh yeah we just um reverse so you know how the way heat works is it rises yeah like... i inverse that um i just made uh heat oh. pull we and are in way that, too it's, powerful for us. Right. We it's, it's talked not, honestly, about changing weather. We didn't talk about altering entropic forces. That is not for us big. to meddle with. I a didn't lot. think I could do it before, but uh, when I we went out to space and I figured out that things work differently based on atmospheric pressure, it kind of like made sense <laughs> in a way that messed with lesson it. To um, learn. That, lesson to learn was to go home. Oh. No, 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 no. It's it's fine. And truly, when I was just a consciousness. Oh my God, I hate to tell you this. I was a little, the magnitude to which I could do mag, magic in that husk was a little, um, it was a little grander inside. It was a little bit of an amplifier in some ways, I think. And I we see, know. I see the damage yeah. it caused. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You all seem fine though. I mean, even Rival, unscathed. <laughs> I don't know what the joke is to make right Dude. now, so I gotta let it go. <laughs> Dude, do, do I do I you know where this quote unquote master is? Uh last time I checked, um he looks at Duo still like pointing and like facing somewhere. It's like he's right there. He's I think you you all uh look at Duo facing the ground as we're standing, kind of looking down with the thing. It's like Oh boy. Oh, He's underneath the volcano, or inside of it, rather. It needs it to be near the power source. And the, yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, it's just trying to remember. Um, and he's gonna make uh, a intelligence check. Okay. Virgil's a, gonna cast. Virgil's gonna cast guidance as he does this to mm -hmm. to essentially help. Wait, is that what I'm doing? I forgot. Yeah, I haven't absolutely. cast a spell mm -hmm. in like a minute. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Enhance ability. Oh, so, uh, okay. Enhance ability. So, that's so a damage you, then. Yeah. That'll yeah. give you advantage on this just to kind of uh, whatever's going on. Remember? Gaz, yeah. And you get a 16. Uh, Gazer mm -hmm. ends up getting 16 with advantage. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's for him, it's a little muddy. It's not perfect recall. But he, he, yes, um, there was a time where the master and the young tiefling were working on something. Um, and <laughs> the young oh tiefling is it's incredible. <laughs> and when Gazer says the master, is it like, is how is he saying it? Is he still saying it in a reverential yeah, manner? Or is he exactly. still or is he just saying it like it's a plane? I think it was uh it's seemingly at this point, um like a matter of fact. Like okay. not something like he's like, Oh, I love the master. I wear it's just like, there's just a way it's like the master is just the word that he has for yeah. it. Like that is the only sure. word he knows. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Gollum. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> and so, yeah, the ma and the master kind of put together some stuff um, down there. I think um, there was something about a, a portal back to Waterdeep. Well, that's um, convenient. Down there. Mm, I'm here for transit, but that's a lot. Okay. That, and you uh, have I... no idea who or what the master might be? Uh, I mean, I think now looking at, mm. I mean, hindsight's incredible. Let me tell you what, uh, and <laughs> putting together the hoods and, and the fact that, that I think it was the Xanathar. I think I oh, got that was... a little bit, um, all eyes immediately to Shaka. Yeah. Um, Shaka, uh, when you say the, like the Xanathar, you see Shaka kind of, uh, look up and 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 then say, why would the Xanathar be in Cholt? I think, God, let me try. And he like really scourges his head. And it's, it's something about 
Ah, no, I remember. The crust is thinner on Schultz because of the volcanoes. The, the connection to the They're core, more New York style than a Chicago style up here. No, I'm still like, talking about really pizza because I get here. hungry yeah. and that is not okay. It, it's the cheesy crust. Yeah, stuffed yeah. crust. <laughs> like a, I don't, we are not. Moltenly <laughs> stuffed. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, it, it, like Gossip Coast, like, there's some, yeah, I think with Schultz had more so than like the under mountain which gets into like mines and like deeper and like more dangerous and frankly denser parts of the like part of the earth and mm. and where of okay i don't even know if we call Faerun earth but i'm going to use the word the term for the planet um it's fine terra maybe Tor and Toral so, is the world i think what, what is it the world Toral. Toral. t-o-r-i-l yeah, Perfect. Toral, and uh, I think it's just easier to get access to that particular part. And there was something specifically about um, uh, something plan planner, planar with the geomagnetic red. I don't remember. It's a lot of words. It, 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 was, it was a lot. It was hard to hear when rocks were constantly grinding around your ears. Fair enough. Shaka is going to um, walk up to you and get like pretty close. To your face like he's gonna yeah. duck down and get pretty close to your face kind of like yeah. in your personal space essentially mm -hmm. and say gosrick we need to get to master uh, okay uh and he stretches himself up and uh stands and then you notice a little bit that this dude's been sitting down for a year um, or at least 11 months oh, in some capacity. He has not, what has sustained him has just been the magic as he falls over and says, um, oh, okay, God. I don't think I can uh, it's go to the mountain. I'm going to go hang out in the rival. Oh. You go, it's inside. Um, go to the top Frankly, that's the only way in is through the top, but there's no smoke for you this time. And I, I, I mean, I have a layer of rock last time that protected me when I fell into the actual lava, um, but there's no lava. So you all will be okay. I mean, I'm, I'm fire resistant. I don't know if I'm lava resistant, but I'm, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. I can stand some heat. Oh yeah. You and me both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, so uh... that's great for y'all. <laughs> Yeah. I, think, I think you'll all be okay. I will be um, <laughs> with Rival uh, and I guess Walter. Wow, I, I'm i sorry. I forgot you were here, Walter. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I'm sorry. I get it. You're doing a lot. Okay. Uh, uh, you want, whew. The human who is not fire resistant or fireproof has a question about all this. <laughs> ha, am I staying with Rival? What are we doing? Our yeah, Gosrick, are you certain that there is safe passage for us? Yeah. I mean, look. And he just, like, points the to the, the volcano. And it's like, there's no smoke. There's nothing <sighs> rising. There's no heat coming out. Like, whatever. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Ergo, hmm? where there is not smoke. There's no fire. It's not that some logical fallacy. It's, it's not, not true. True. We, we, we sealed it. <laughs> we, 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 we put a cap on the sort of expulsion it's all being drawn away somewhere else i mean the the Actually, storm sense. was just sort of the height in it like it was just the, the thing is if you create a, a a temperature drop in a weather system it allows to create a certain uh cloud formation and so i did that repeatedly to amp up the amount of frankly cold and like heat that was being drawn away um so yeah since but, the uh, since Gazer stop has the has the actual ambient temperature around here has it changed? No, has it gotten hotter? Oh, okay. I mean, if you can, it, the storm itself yeah. has stopped, sure. and I think Gazer mentions like, yeah, I mean, there were two, I think, great bits of magic that were done. One was the casting of the storm, and the other was the sealing of the heat. Uh, they were too powerful to do at the same time. And I kind of needed to maintain the storm continuously, I think. Um, but the other one I did with the help of the young tiefling and master, like it was a kind of a three-pronged uh, 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 effect. 
Kozarek, I get some rest. Okay. However, if you feel the magic that you have cast here, if you feel that changing, we will need you to reinforce it so that we can continue to survive. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me um, let me sleep for a little bit, uh, and and I'll be I'll be like maybe six hours, and I'll be skosh. I'll be I'll be yeah. back to normal. Just uh, moments, think... moments of non-activity. I got it. Sure. You know, we yeah, all yeah, we yeah. all need those from time to time. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm gonna rest up. It's good to see you guys. Sorry, I didn't say that sooner. It it really is. Gosh, I I I did miss you. Wow. Glad you're okay, Gosrick. Yeah. I guess. And he like kind of climbs on up. Uh, and you see uh, Walter watch him go and says, uh, So, a rival, you're going to look after him? He's like, hey, Yes, I will take care of uh, Gosrick. It is what I want to do to help out. Oh. All right. Love it. That's Aww. growth. Don't like yep. you awing at me. Remember, I have a ballista. Sure and it kind of like hovers and sort of moves its own away. Uh, <laughs> the right <rest is> correct. <laughs> Our baby Plus, ship's growing yes. up. Yeah, right I'm baby. so yeah. proud. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think Rival will be joke building in a couple episodes. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah. What's, what's the worst thing about you flesh bags? <laughs> One puncture, you all fall <laughs> out. Like, right. What's all the deal done. with that? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, and so uh, while Tara looks at it and says, well, um, I think the best thing to do is just kind of head on in and, and 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 see what happens inside the actual inside there. Well, uh, we it, um. He just feels like a moment that we should prep. Maybe I don't know. I don't. This is this is my first time being on a thing like this, and that. I mean, well, I, I I I did a you're lot. You're coming. Of, yeah, I'm coming. Oh. I've I've been here, guys. I've been I've I've been coming the entire time. Do you have any of the um F uh, FWG? You have any uh any team members here? Uh, well, Rival and I were the only FWG. I thought you had a whole group of folks. We were the field ward guardians, the two of us. Truly Mainly legendary. Rival. I get it because they were the. The, the flight the uh, weapons the brains the, weapons, the... Brain. no i mean i i was uh... the strategy schulte and hey schulte and air fighting is its own category aerial combat from oh. schulte and styles you get all I mean, from a schulte member let me tell you what i mean this is you know this place well i'll say you, you and dahani know this place better than we do so i will Definitely take y'all lead on where you think we should go, how you think we should prep. Maybe there's some places we can go before we go here. Um, I don't know if there's any places close to here that maybe we can um, prep. Because, yeah, if we're going in a, like, snow-capped or not, like, we're going to have to maybe get some things that we don't normally have, uh, especially for the non-heat-resistant folks. So... Um. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be willing to uh, take you and Dahani's lead, not just your lead, uh, Walt. There. Sure. I mean, uh, Dahani's just on the ship, right? On rival, making sure Kyle's settled before coming back to join us. You know, uh, when they get back here, we'll definitely uh, do it together. I. There is a trail, like you know, oh, on the there. There's a hiking path, and oh, there was, that's I hiking path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is is as, as, uh, hike to the volcano? Well, you can hike along it, and there's a particular cut in that allows you to sort of. It's closed off sometimes during like particular activity, but usually you can kind of see things pooling and bubbling from a safe inside balcony. We could start there, and then just sort of like move our way down, and if we think, or honestly, wherever. Do I mean? I know that Dahani is uh, doing everything she can to try and come up with a plan that isn't Walter's, but like, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Not the worst, no. <laughs> um, and Duo is kind of remained silent and focused on the ground. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 
And I am, um, I guess, insight on duo. I, I essentially want to see if this look, if this is like trance like, or if this is more like mm. just, uh, you know, just regular duo ness. Absolutely. Uh, Give me either uh, your insight. You can also do Arcana. You want, if you want to look at like something okay. that's going on. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'll do Arcana then. Whatever uh, much, uh, is your yeah really much better bonus on that. Yeah, uh, Ooh, 23. twenty-three. Yeah, you. From what you've understood about the art of the doppel and the history and the explanation of the actual uh, the way the magic works is part of it is the true separation of the doppel from the core subject and the actual material. There's a true distance that's put in and the greater the distance in some ways it allows for a more holistic and true doppel to emerge. Something's causing the interference also with being so close. You'd reckon is might be jarring with Duo's sense of understanding that they're a ghost because if they're a ghost why would the pull and like why would that mm. be an issue like if he right. was actually dead would it matter in the same way like also his body's been gone forever why would it suddenly sort of been acting there's a way in which there's something sort of shifting and you don't know if it's a greater control or lack of control but um those remain silent since coming to show or at least getting closer Well, I mean, I'm ready to go. I've got yeah, fire resistance, so I, you know, it's not, <laughs> not a wow, great thanks. plan. But I feel like I feel like if we can, perhaps, do a little bit of observation yeah. and, and recon from this area, we'll have a better idea of what we need to prepare for. Because, and and yeah, he does look at he does look at both Kent and Shaka. Y'all are fine. We are <laughs> yeah. not. No. I think that's great. I think it's a great sort of move. Um, you guys chat and then get your pack sort of settled and Walter says okay we just kind of walk this way and begins to take you on a path inside uh up the like mountain curve as you guys walk in and he takes a left and uh through it um i'm gonna ask you for two rolls yeah. give me a perception first Eighteen. Twenty-one. Oh, good. good. Blessings. Perfect. Almost a crit fail. Now one. Now oh, one. Oh, you got the, you got because Goswick <laughs> is not rolling, so yeah, so somebody like, has to. It's got it yeah. has to credit that round. <laughs> am, am I doing this roll as well? Sorry. Absolutely. Everyone that's here. And you know what I'll is roll it again? Walter. Sorry. I'm doing like eight things at once. Perception. Perception. Just perception. Okay. Yeah, like Walter is 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 Duo doing it? Uh Duo doesn't need to do it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Art of the Doppel. 17. 17. Okay. 18, 20. Wow. High rolls. We'll counteract the four from uh, Kent and the two from Walter. Uh, and it's, it's, Walter. It's, uh, Poor Walter. It, and you know what? That makes me feel so much better, though. I got to say thank you for being here, Walter. <laughs> no, absolutely. Wow. And, and it's honestly the two of y'all talking about the geology yeah. formation of the Pillars of Fire, like sort of explaining Aww. a little bit. Yeah, so historically, the entire island of Schultz came around from the pillars. They were the first sort of peaks, and then the rest spread out. Uh, and then I have a very important question about this history yeah. lesson that Walter is giving me, and I know sure. it's just because of a goofy die roll, but I do have to know if it's if it's accurate. Ooh, uh, let's say for the Rivals of Waterdeep universe, 100%. Okay, uh, well, no, yeah. I, the reason I'm asking is because I think what is actually distracting Kent is not just that he's having a conversation with Walter, but that he is worried that Dahani is going to be offended and upset that he's having a conversation with Walter, and also that Dahani might be trying to correct any inaccuracies that Walter has about the history of Joel. Absolutely going through <laughs> You know, we'll leave, we'll leave that for when Lithia gets back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so for the folks, particularly uh, Shaka, you're on extra high alert dealing with stuff with the Xanatar. You're ready yes. for it. And in this movement, you hear people talking before you see them further out inside the actual place. Um, do you, I'm going to say if you want to give a stealth roll to get like sneak up on the conversation, you can. 
And that was the second goal, whether or not you um, actually make a stealth goal or not. Is it too far to, for me to tell approximately, do they look like people with hoods on? You can't hear from here, but it sounds a little bit like an argument that is occurring. Okay. Okay. So I can't tell if these are like, mm-hmm. are, are just like regular citizens or... Uh, right. Okay. Same uh, thing with Virgil. I think you all are at sort of the front of the group when you hear yeah. it. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna try to get in on the. Oh yeah, actually yes, yes I am. Why not? I'm being busy. And anyone, uh, anyone can try and sneak in on the. Yeah, so like, I will. I will yeah, do a stealth roll. Cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Thirteen. 13. Not great. Um, that's a seventeen. Cool. Yeah. I'm taking that nat one on the chin and and not. <laughs> and then what about uh for Solice? <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. I know you're doing a lot. I just want to give you a chance to roll a stealth roll if you want. Oh no, my worst my worst stat. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. So uh you guys are pulling up and begin to like sort of crouch and while Tara and uh Eugenio, we'll talk about what's going on with you all, but the rest of you all uh, walk forward um, and are crouching, sort of checking over the edge. And you see in the center as you enter the actual cavernous part of the volcano, the hollow area with the sunlight filtering in, on the center of it, it is dusted in snow. This entire place is littered and like covered in actual, probably at the center of it, a foot, if not two feet of snow. And you could tell this because of the two individuals standing almost uh, thigh deep in it, arguing back and forth. One of them uh, is shouting at the younger one, sort of asking, like, you can't really make out what of it, but it, it's a little uh, upset. The other one walking around, pacing, seeing pleading. Uh, and as you get closer, you begin to hear some of the conversation. Why would you take this deal? This is an awful idea. We've always known if you had ever listened to anyone in your family, if you had ever paid any attention to what we've tried to tell you, no, no, you don't understand what I've had to deal with, what I needed to deal with. I did what I had to do to gain the power that I needed, and I've done it for us to bring back some actual presence. You know how irrelevant we've been in Caradun? Do you know how much they haven't cared about our presence? How dare you? How dare you? You don't know what we've had to do, what we've needed to do to survive. You don't, you don't even know what magic has done to this family, the way that it is tarnished and ruined. I have lost so much, and now you're just engaging with it with reckless abandon. And as you pull forward, Virgil, your jaw drops. As you push a rock over the edge, as this person says, you're not like your uncle, okay? You're my son. And when I tell you to stop, you'll stop. And Laren looks at him and says, no, I've taken the deal with this Anathoth. I will do what I need to do. I have become more powerful than anyone in our family could imagine. How dare you, dad, if I could even call you that. And you look as your brother, Virgil, shock sets in on his face, hurt and pain. As the rock that slipped falls down and he looks up at you. Great. Now we've got two of the mages from our family here. And that's where we're gonna end today's episode. Woo! Yeah! All right. What's the mic in? Oh, no. I oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Let us you go do around. Uh, I've never it's, felt it's so attacked, but I'm not mad. Like I've never felt so attacked. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I'm mad for you. You're this welcome. piggybacks on something that Masood like like cra- Masood and I crafted like seasons ago. So I'm just like I okay. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, well, we've got a little bit of time. Let's do our outros while we can. Yep. We'll do it in uh, clockwise rotation, starting with Sharif. Yep. Hey, I'm Sharif. Uh, you can find my stuff at SharifJackson.com. S-H-A-R-E-E-F. Jackson.com. 
uh, or Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Um, the videos are continuing to drop, the physics videos. Check out equationplay.com um, to uh, check out links to those latest videos. Um, with the Destiny 2 expansion, I've been able to do some cool uh, videos because there's a lot of cool little physics with some of the um, mobility stuff that they introduced uh, in that game. So um, uh, make sure to check out if you're interested in grap- grappling and moving around and stuff and how that um, some of the science behind that. So make sure to check that out. Hell yeah. Coming up, we've got Eugenio. Hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. Uh, I'm DM Jazzy Hands here on Twitch and on Twitter. You can find me in both of those places. Um, <clears throat> what's coming up next week? Uh, I've been playing I've been playing Dead Space, also known as Eugenio yeah. Shrieks in Space. It's oh, fine. Uh, so that's been a ton of fun. That'll be Tuesday uh, for sure and potentially Thursday. Uh, we're almost halfway through the game at this point. So come hang out with me on my channel, 2 p.m. Eastern on there. Wednesday is the actual final, very last finale episode, finally, of my D&D podcast, The Last Refuge. It is episode, canon episode 257. Uh, so we are going to be wrapping that up, premiering that episode live. It's a little Q&A. Uh, with the, the video is a Q&A uh, of the cast and me and my story consultant. And then we'll be taking questions from chat to just about like anything about the campaign, how we did it, unanswered questions, things like that. So that's 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on my channel, premiering season 10, episode 10 of The Last Refuge. Uh, Thursday back to probably Dead Space, and then Sunday back here for for the midway point of our final season. I can't believe Amazing. it's already here. I know. Yeah. That's wild. Whew. Wow. It, it's, it, we, and we'll talk about that. Uh, but we'll, we got to keep moving <laughs> on this outro. we gotta, we got to keep moving on this outro. I'll yeah, we Brian. will. Hi, uh, I'm Brian, a.k.a. Urban Bohemian, pretty much everywhere online, uh, especially Twitch and Twitter. Uh, coming up for me on my own channel, um, I'm going to be playing Destiny 2. I'm not going to be doing any kind of like math or physics about it because I just like the word paracausal. It's, they say it all the time. <laughs> it's fantastic. It is um, I know. And then coming up uh, at the weekend, um, I played some Figment 2 today, and we're going to play a little bit more Figment 2 Creed Valley at the weekend. And then coming up this Saturday at 1.30 on only Tom will tell, T-H-O-M. We're going to play a one-shot, uh, Monster of the Week. Um, he's put together something interesting. It is his first time. It's his first time uh, running a story. It's his first time streaming a one-shot. It's I, I'm familiar with a lot of firsts, so I'm going to have a lot of fun. Okay. And then, yeah, back here with uh, back here with everyone here on Sunday. 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 Do you know, honestly, uh, that reminds me, I didn't know about it, but uh, Tanya, you'll also be mad about this. Apparently, a monster truck convention was happening here like grave digger <laughs> what? was in chicago last week grave digger wow grave digger. oh my god i don't know anything oh about monster trucks. Yeah. i know grave digger like i, I love like, you know grave digger I mean? in the 80s yeah. Yeah. apparently like at the that... rosemont convention center this past is it the like, original or is it like is it is it like do they replace them with a di- like i don't if it's a car i don't know maybe if you like well there's a question about a ship is right? it the, is it the grave digger of theseus is what yeah. is basically okay <laughs> any, any, anyways, anyways we got off the wow. Sunday kick. Sorry, Sunday, 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 set me up. <laughs> Tanya, do you want to tell folks who you are? Amazing. Who uh, I'm Tanya, it's like for Tier Over Online. Uh, this week, for once, is actually kind of light. And there are like 8 billion games out that I said I would play, so I have no idea what I'm doing. If I can catch a nap, I may even stream later. Who knows? Uh, but Cypher Tier Over Online, this is my only thing right now. And, uh,. Yeah, but I'll be at PAX. Eugenia will be with me. Um, and so our, soon. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And our uh, Clipping Queen, Lady Luck, will also be with us on a couple panels. Uh, yeah. My schedule is all over the tweeters at my website, cyphertier.com. Uh, and an exciting thing is we got the voice actor for Tear from Ragnarok, who is joining mm. our God of War panel. Very cool. Oh, nice. That's so, yeah, awesome. Ben Pendergast. I'm going to mess up this man's name. I know I am. <laughs> you, you got time to practice. Also, a huge shout out for folks uh, who didn't know. Uh, Tanya was also a big producer of this episode, handling technical difficulties like a champ. So uh, send them all the wonderful bits or whatever you do to send people appreciation. Uh, do that for them. Uh, and then Dahani is on all the Twitter. Sorry. Latia is on Twitter there and it's I literally I like I looked and I was like, oh, what's their Twitter? And I saw their name above. It's bad. Latia is on Instagram and Twitter at Latia Jaquise. Uh you can see what they're up to there. I don't know if they've got I think right now Rivals is their only show that they've got going in terms of stuff. Um, but they're around. And if you go to their Instagram, they posted wonderful photos from the critical role birthday party with uh Tanya and a few of them 
and some other folks. So go look at that. This is a shameless plug to their social media that I happen to look at this morning. Uh, and then that's fine, there's... But most of my photos are on Facebook, which most people don't have. So. No, 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 no. This is it's, it's on Latia's Instagram. It's on Latia's Instagram. Uh, but hey, it's me. I'm a student. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudboy, M A H R U D U V O I. I have been your GM this episode and for this first half of our season. Having a blast. Um, if you want to see what I've got going on, check out my Instagram and Twitter at Marudboy. Otherwise, you can come check me out next Sunday when I'm back with these wonderful folks doing episode six. <gasps> Gasp! End of the yeah. first half of our run uh, for the final season for Rivals. Um, thank. Just want to give a huge shout out to everyone who made this possible. Um, to all the folks uh, on the Patreon and the Indiegogo, thank you all so much. Uh, this has been such a blast to be with these folks and tell the story, and we're very excited. Uh, yeah, I'll speak for everyone. We're very excited to keep going uh, and round <laughs> out the rest of the season. Uh, is, that felt safe. That felt a safe Yes. Moment to speak for folks. Yes. Right? Um, but anyways, we'll be around. Um, are, have we decided? Are we streaming or um, uh, rating I, I think, unless I'm wrong, someone correct me, we're going to go visit the Opera Geek in her last, like, half hour, 15 minutes. Because she has the voice of Geralt of Rivia with her. Oh, yeah. Raising oh, yeah. 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 Raising money Y'all be good MS in society. chat, which I know you will. But go say hi. Uh, and tell it to the rival Senya. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Thank all you all right. for hanging out. Bye, Bye-bye. y'all. Bye, everybody.